Uh, my name is Brandon Russ. I am the uh, assistant editor here at DNP. Um, yeah, I do a lot of editing. Um, basically, they go out, shoot all the footage, uh, the production people, they bring it back. I put it into our system, into our server, and uh, throw it on a timeline, edit it together, add music, sound design, color correction. Uh, so everyone saw some basic you know, motion graphics. We have another guy, James. He's awesome when it comes to After Effects and graphics stuff. Uh, so he's doing a lot of that stuff. We kind of work together on projects in that regard. Uh, but uh, one of the most recent things we've done, we've done and we're currently working on post is uh, this airboat video. We kind of wanted to do uh, kind of our own thing and uh, for a change. So we uh, had some idea, some meetings to come up with some creative ideas and meetings. And uh, in the past, I had done a uh, a short student documentary on airboating. It turned out really well. It was fun. And so we were coming up with ideas for things that we could do. Um, I proposed the idea of an airboat video. It's really, uh, there's a lot of rich content there, but it's something that not a lot of people know a lot about. But there's definitely a, a very strong market there among airboaters. Um, anyway, so we went out and shot it. My brother in law, Bo, is huge in airboating. He's pretty much obsessed with it. And uh, we had a huge team of people out there. We had like like 16 or 18 airboats or something out there with us and uh, we, uh, we went, spent all day out shooting and uh, yeah we did use the GoPro that was pretty cool it's a it's like a $300 little HD camera that you can put on the end of like a stick and you can get some really interesting unique shots with it um, I'm more on the post side of things I was there uh, out on the shoot because I, uh, I know Bo and I've been out airboating a lot um, I didn't do too much though on the camera side of things, um, uh, but here in post now we've been editing and this is where I'm kind of bringing it all together and it's turning out awesome so far, I'm really excited about it. I'm not exactly sure what codec the GoPro uses, um, but it does come uh, comes fine right in, straight into Final Cut. Um, I have noticed though that um, it, you have to render it if you bring it into, I'm working on a uh, an HD timeline. Uh, DVC Pro HD timeline and it uh, the footage that we shot the raw footage plays right on the timeline no problem no rendering the GoPro footage you have to render it out before I can even play it on the timeline and it tends to when I'm scrubbing through that footage even if it's rendered um, it tends to be uh, be a little slower kind of bogs down the system a little bit for some reason or another I don't know it's probably a some sort of uh, that has to do with the format of the codec, some kind of compatibility with Final Cuts, or at least the sequence I'm in at least. The airboat video is going to blow your mind uh, when it's done, so we're excited to get that up up and out to everyone as soon as we can. We're going to have, uh, have a little website for it, and have little downloads for it and stuff. And, uh, in the meantime, I'm keeping busy with a lot of other stuff too. I'm trying to fit the airboat in uh, with a lot of other client projects. Uh, we have things going on for Disney and for Bright House and uh, um, Expedia and a few other things so uh, keep busy but uh, freaking love it here it's awesome I mean I'm kind of spoiled I'm not gonna lie um, so <laughs>